Hi everybody. Uh, with sadness, uh, I, I come to you on this video. It's only a few days, three days ago, lost Jess Leanne Norris, uh, a young, talented, beautiful, inside and out person, multi-talented, um, pole, UK pole fitness uh, dance champion, British champion twice, um, Thai boxer of 11, 12 years. I met her when she was 15. Um, she's only been gave up a life like three days ago. Uh, mind health, a lot to do with it. I only posted a post up weirdly only a couple of days ago saying about um, can't train going insane. And it's you know, she had pole fitness, which is the first love. Everybody knows that. She was just amazing at, at, uh, at what she did. Um, Thai boxing, she was an amazing Thai boxer, but didn't pursue it as you know, on a professional level. She just did it for a hobby. She just did it for fitness. And she was just incredible. She, she just was a, a super talented lady. Um, well, obviously, when the lockdown came, I know that in the last couple of years, she has been suffering with mind health. I don't like to call it mental health. But I know it is that, but I call it mind health. <clears throat> and... Uh, she, like everyone at the beginning of lockdown, I mean, she was, she was still doing polls. She was teaching, and, and, and I think it's somewhere in, in Manchester and Bolton, the different places. She was doing a couple of seminars. Um, she was teaching in my gym. I had to give her a class. She had one every Monday night. It was brilliant. It was a uh, strength, stretch, and core class. Um, she's always done Thai boxing with me, like I said, for a, a, like 11, 12 years. And so lockdown, and she was working in a bar in town. So all of a sudden. Pole's been taken off her. Thai boxing's been taken off her. I used to see her at DW Gym as well, which is why I used to go down there uh, with a friend, Sue Batty. Um, they took the, the job off her. Uh, like many people, you know, lost, literally, just dink, 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 just everything sliced underneath. And I saw just about a week and a half ago in just the local supermarket, and she just seemed a bit flat then, and I just noticed it. I said, you've not been on Facebook for a while. And you know, she's just like, Sandy! And I go, yes, and we have a big ogre and we just, we just, we, we were just like a female male version of each other. We're just a bit both crazy and full of life. Um, but she seemed flat, just putting her stuff in a bag and I just said, hey, you all right? And she went, yeah, I'm all right. And she just didn't really make massive eye contact as she normally does. And, and I just, obviously we couldn't hug because of the social distancing thing. And then the next thing um, she says, I says to her, I said, not seeing you on Facebook. I said, Cause I tag her in, I tag everybody, don't I? If you want to be tag victims, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, I, I tagged her in, in, in everything and anything positive and anything funny or anything whatever anything it's just tag her uh, like a lot of my friends and um she just the words resonate now she said uh, you know i've not been on um because i'm not doing anything and i have nothing to, i'm nothing to put on i'm not doing anything and i thought oh ah so I sort of tried to make light of it. I said, I know, I said, sometimes it's good, it's good to like come off Facebook. I said, it can get too much sometimes. And I said, but anyway, listen, I said, get back on it. I said, and I know because we can't obviously, you know, physically uh, have you around and about. I said, but get back on it. I said, I miss you, we miss you. And she went, yeah, yeah. And she just carried on putting her stuff in her bag and I just waved and said goodbye. And that's the last I've seen of her. And she touched trained hundreds of people. She touched thousands of people around the world knew her. Um, devastating news. And then today, I woke up with a couple of messages off my students and my friend and another instructor, good friend, Carl, and off Rio and a couple of other people saying, Sandy, have you heard the news? I'm like, oh no, what? Grandmaster Kevin Lloyd from Siam Camp in Oldham, who's done Thai boxing as long as I have. 40 odd years he's done it um, in the KMA, the Crew Muay Thai Association. He was at the ceremony and I got my masters. He was one of the people on the, the main bench with, uh, with Grandmaster Woody from Thailand, who I, I was honoured and blessed to get my masters with in, in, in uh, 2018. That's uh, 2019, sorry. And I'm just, he passed in his sleep. And through his family, his wife, Jess, his kids, and everybody at the Siam camp, and all his, every, the whole Muay Thai community. The world's gone crazy. Um, 
you know, and I, I said this on the thing about, I got Scott Dixon, my friend Scott James, he, he, he was the one who gave me the, it was, it was a Sandy quote, he, he, he said it, I don't know what the other day, how are you doing Scott? He went, oh, I can't train, going insane, didn't realise what, I said, that's a Sandy quote, I said, can I have it? He went, yeah, you can have it Sandy, it's something you'd say anyway. So I put it up on my status and I tagged Jess in it, weirdly, and Kevin. Kevin was always on, coming to my live feeds, I even did, um, if anybody remember, I've got, um, I need to find it, so anybody knows the date, please. Um, I did a, a full uh, interview at Bolton FM, uh, the podcast, the Sandy's Bash blog, and Grandmaster Kevin Lloyd came on it and he was telling us some unbelievable uh, history about um, Muay Thai and how it started and uh, about Grandmaster Woody, Grandmaster Sken, Grandmaster Toddy and the, and the actual starting of the uh, Master Crane, everybody, the opening of Muay Thai in the UK. Um, so I need to try and find that podcast. If anybody knows the date, anybody can remind me. I, 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 not now, it's, it's a bit raw, it's a bit sensitive, but I'd like to find that podcast and post it in his memory because it's him speaking about his passion, his love of life, 40 odd years, 40, 40 something years of Muay Thai. Never gave up, kept going. You know, and a real inspiration to hundreds of thousands. You know, the last year I was talking to him about he'd, he'd been um, over to Brazil and uh, South America doing seminars and around the world. Very, very close ally with Grandmaster Woody. Um, them two were just like brothers. So everybody in the Muay Thai community, everybody out there, we need to get back training. We need this for our mind health. So can someone, can we do something? Can we get lean on the government? The Lord McDonald's. A lot of KFC, Burger King, the people camping outside Prime Arnie, Primark. How's that helping your mind health? You know, why can't you buy buying clothes? You can't really go out. <laughs> Don't like them go go to a disco, is it? Unless you're on, a, on an illegal rave in a field somewhere, and then people are dying. Oh no. Anyway, sorry guys, I've had to express myself. I had to do this video. Uh, so all out there suffering mind health. Please talk to people that are positive around you. Please talk. To, please talk to people that you care about. Just a phone call. We've got no excuse these days. Well, we've got these things. I've got two. Look, I've got that one. I'm talking. I've got this one here. Yeah, I've got two, two, two sandy phones. I've got what's supposed to be one supposed to be business and one's supposed to be pleasure. They're both mixed. Um, but we've no excuse. You've got WhatsApp. We've got a telephone call. We've got a text message. We've got a phone call. We're actually speaking to someone. You can actually drive to somebody's house and speak through the window of this lockdown. Um, email. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a hundred ways of you know, of making communication. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Come on, we've got enough. There's no reason, absolutely no, no reason. All right, to not to communicate with your family and friends. So please, all right. We never know when, you know, when we might not wake up. We might not be here. So it's a heartfelt video conversation. So it's a bit lengthy, but. Please, please talk to people and try and stay positive. We're, we're three months in, we're over the, I can't say so much, so much as we're over the hump, but we're certainly, it's three months behind us. And I think we feel, I do feel we are closer to something. There is daylight, but please government, someone get the gyms open. You know, we need it. That's a healthy thing. Open these little shops. Um, a friend of, of, of me in, this, in the gym, a student's mum, she runs a thing called Earthlings, you know, with natural products. Um, you know, we need to support these these healthy shops, these British shops, these um, community places, uh, community shops, and anything that's healthy. Not, I mean, fast food and, you know, queuing up. And, people, and the other thing as well, guys, sorry, while I'm on, I'm on my flipping soap box, it, it, talk to your kids, especially teenagers. Tell them, please, if they're going out, wherever they go, you know, and you can always tell, you can tell with, with what is on the McDonald's wrappers, Lucas Air bottles, you know, um, uh, Red Bull, I don't, you know, the energy drinks. You can tell that's not been left, has it, by a 60, 70, 80 year old walking the dog. Yeah, um, you know, junk being thrown at the windows. And I'm sick of seeing those silver uh, canisters, okay, which they're using as drugs, um, snorting them. God knows what they're doing, breathing them in, I don't know. Please have a word with your teenagers. Tell them, and any of your, your kids, and I think your kids are probably more educated anyway with about, about litter. Take your crap home. The beauty spots around Bolton and around the, the country, you know, pick up your crap. You took your crap there, take your crap home with you. All right, please, you're destroying beautiful areas. Because when you do, you know, we've obviously we're allowed out to exercise. That's the only exercise we've had. It's going for walks, going for runs, going on bikes. Everyone's doing it and brilliant. Keep it up. It's good for your mind health. 
yeah it's not just about flipping muscles yeah muscles don't do anything yeah all right they've got energy yeah but it's your mind it's, this is the biggest muscle you know keep this keep this strong yeah and good healthy mind good healthy heart good healthy body good healthy life i'm gonna leave you with that one life live it love it please be good to each other all right thank you share this video if you want to um or just ignore me because you know i'm a bit of a madman uh Morton born and bred strong in the arm and a thick in the head <sighs> ted talk i'd love to go on one of them um but anyway it's thank you see you later I'll leave you with a three and a two and a one and a noosh <laughs> thank you for watching okay take care guys love you all okay, stay safe stay well <laughs>